This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. We're here at the Dexcom booth, and I'm joined by Terry, and we're going to talk about glucose monitoring that's constantly in your body. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network. TPN.TV partners include dropcam.com and their newest cloud-based web cameras. Visit tpn.tv slash dropcam. Terry, thanks for having us in your booth. Tell us a little bit about your company and then we're going to talk about your product. Sure, well, thanks for having us. Uh, continuous glucose monitoring is essential for patients with diabetes because they have a challenge of monitoring their glucose levels and keeping them within range. They lack the regulatory capacity to do that. So what we do is we put a small wire just beneath the surface of the skin. We transmit that information continuously to this receiver, which allows the patient not only to see their glucose levels, but it also has alarms and trends and graphs, so they alert before they actually run into trouble. Now expanding that right, that's smart. is the next generation, which is currently pending before the Food and Drug Administration, because we believe that digital health is where the business needs to go and where healthcare needs to go. So this is called the share cradle, and essentially you put the receiver into the cradle. It is a charging station, but more importantly, it has a radio chip in it, Bluetooth LE, which then communicates to a phone, which then pushes that notification to up to five different followers. So whatever the patient is seeing on their receiver, five additional people can monitor them, again, with the alerts and the alarms to keep them safe. Well, that's great. So I could see this. So is this, this is a view of the app, correct? This is the follower app, which allows the follower to actually monitor what their loved one or their child is experiencing real time as well. I think that would be hugely important when you're talking about um, family, like my elderly mom, or uh, say one of my kids has diabetes. I think that would be a great way to follow them, make sure that they are indeed in range, because my mom doesn't even live close to me. So I think that would be a perfect example of a way that I could, we could use this. So um, now the technology is interesting from a from a technology point of view. We want to zoom in on the on the product here for a minute. I want to talk about so this device right here goes into the interstitial space. Is that correct? That is correct. We measure interstitial glucose. And how how often does this need to be changed out? Um, and can a, can you do it at home? This is a patient administered product. So yes, you do it at home. We're currently approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for seven continuous days of use. So you apply it, you do a finger stick calibration, you enter that calibration into the receiver, and it immediately begins to give you that information that we talked about moments ago. So we'll get right back into that segment, but I do want to thank our sponsor real quick, DropCam at DropCam.com. Uh, you know, DropCam provides you a cloud-based, easy to set up, wireless, system that lets you put a camera virtually anywhere and then monitor it from the web on your smart device, on your laptop. You can record in the cloud. It's just got all kinds of features. It's quick to set up, easy to use. Anyone can use it for security, as a nanny cam, as a way to just check in on your pets. Whatever the case may be, check it out and find out more information by heading over to tpn.tv slash dropcam. That's tpn.tv slash dropcam. Ago. So, um, the calibration, does it? do I have to use your device or can I use my own home device that I normally have? Any FDA sanctioned blood glucose meter is approved for this product. Excellent. And then, so now I have all this data and I can continuously monitor it. What do you see kind of some of the next trends with it? Where do you, where do you guys see this going as, as you start to, am I going to be able to integrate that with my physician's health record and my personal health record? Absolutely. I, we look at all of this in terms of the digital health and how we keep you safe. So the integration of that information through a variety of different formats, including even predictive alerts to warn you well in advance, and the obviously the integration into the electronic medical records is part of the future. All of this is capable. We're just taking information and manipulating, digitizing, and analytics uh, to that information.
this is a great product. I think you guys are on to something here. I, I, um, we've seen a lot of great health products here, but this is truly innovative, and I appreciate what you guys have done for diabetics in the market, and I think it's great. Well, if you like what we're doing now, just wait. <laughs> Excellent. And where can they find out more information about your product? www.dexcom.com. Great. And you were telling me also that a lot of uh, third-party payers will pay for this as well, so it's prescription-based. It, it is a prescription-based, but over 98% of our patients have some form of third-party party reimbursement. Excellent. Great. Well, thank you, Terry. I appreciate it. And more to come here on the Tech Podcast Network. I'm Chris Monterra at CES 2014. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network.